Ain't always much to say. Now he lands at the intersection between bad and wrong. Ought to be a core down one of these twisted streets. But which one? He heads for the squirt steps. Won't be no field trip this time. seen an elephant squirt before. Hopes he'll never see one again. They say even the most rambunctious squirts can be tame. Squirts don't make the best of friends, but they can be useful in a pinch. No sign of the core here. At least the kid got something for his trouble. Scumbag can digest just about anything. Except for this. It's quick for slicing and light enough to throw. Them squirts just don't know when to quit. Up north is where the gas fella foreman used to live, tending to his flock. Gas fellas all dress alike. Kids wondering the same thing. Check the other side streets before leaving this hole. He heads for the east side, where windbags used to keep the local forge. They ain't pleased. No coal or alloy left to pay him for the reference.
Inside the forge, Key can fine tune those instruments of his. With a good length of meese gut, that bow's like new again. Kid's lifelong friends looking fit to keep on fighting. to find the likes of Percy the Snitch. Never much cared for that big wide grin of his. He heads for the biggest dump in town. Scumbag Alley. Some scumbag still feeding off the city's own trash. And there he is. The oldest scumbag of them all. Gershel. Gershel wouldn't go without a fight. He's ready to go, and his ticket out's right where it started. He comes back, just like I knew he would. The core hums in his pack, the monuments calling for it. The windbags used to be all right, then the calamity took the floor out from under him. Kid does it again. Only fair he decides what we build next. A lot of things need fixing up in this world, and we can start right here. A bow and a machete, every bit as effective as the fancier stuff. Picked up traces of other cores while the kid was out. Kid ain't had enough of the breaker's barracks. He's focused, he's armed, and he's off. Takes practice, and a mighty strong bow helps too.
He returns with some of the materials we need. In better days, the melting pot was sealed tighter than the skin on the squirt. Of all the plans to survive the calamity, it had to be stab weeds. If there's a core, he figures it ought to be deeper down. He cuts down every stab weed like there's gonna be a prize for it. Core stuck inside one of those fancy cages. Some of the stuff lying around is downright dangerous. Throws a switch. Now what could possibly go wrong? Quite a bit, as it turns out. The cage starts lifting from the core ever so slow. All Kid can do is wait. Shipments start falling in. Squirt's born bad. Some spring to the kid's defense. Judging by the movement of the cage, it's gonna take a little while. Scumbags don't take kindly to interlopers. Even some gas fellas take his corner. Birdie pop that mean old form. At this rate, maybe five more minutes. Maybe thirty. Hard to tell. Squirts get real territorial around the core. Then a shipment of free samples shows up. It ain't all bad, as a kid finds some spices in the motherland, tax free. One thing's for sure, that cage is awful heavy. Eight, 
seven. You give or take a few seconds. Finally, the core's within reach. And done. He's got it. Just gotta get to the nearest barge. I still remember the look on his face after that one. <laughs> Folks voyage crossed the boundless sea to found Ceylandia. It was good living here for a while. The old world's finished, but the new world's just getting started. It packs a special surprise in every one of those arrows. Couples used to walk the sundown path. Kid ain't here for pleasure, though. But then, somebody gets to the core before the kid. The floor starts giving way under the lightest step. A single panic squirt could bring the whole place down. Fragments of the old world rain from the sky. Stray valuables are lying everywhere. Kid thinks twice about risking his high for Well, the path ain't exactly open to visitors no more. Security's all fired up. See, the path was intended for leisurely strolling and such. Sky bridges in the path together. One of them bridges whips the kid along. Finds a spyglass, like the ones they'd use to search the stars. Air travel always was an iffy proposition. But 
But calamity changed everything, even where the wind blows. Well, if we mastered the winds in the old days, we can do it again. But the question is, who else could have taken the core? Well, ain't no survivor stole the thing. Scumbag ate it by mistake. Tough break. Unlike the kid, that core ain't coming back. live munitions down the path. He's wires to toss those things plenty far away. could have survived the calamity. So he didn't find the core that time, but that ain't about to stop us. 